Welcome to another video brought to you by AICHB's Online Community Connected. My name is Stephanie alvon Kubrek and I work for AICHB's Technical Programming Department, and I'll be your host today. With me is the 2012 Dankworts Award winner, Guy Marin, a professor in chemical reaction engineering and the director of the Laboratory for Chemical Technology in Belgium. He will be speaking at the Dankworts Award Lecture, which is sponsored by the European Federation of Chemical Engineers, the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, and Elsevier, publishers of chemical engineering science. The focus of Dr. Marin's talk is the interaction between the theory and experimentation in polymerization, catalysis, and reaction engineering. Um, so the title of your presentation is Chemical Engineering, a Pas de Deux between Theory and Experiment, which sounds quite provocative. Um, could you share with us a brief summary of what you plan on speaking about today? Sure, my pleasure. Um, chemical kinetics is, uh, in my opinion, at the interface between the hardcore of chemical engineering on one hand and uh, chemistry in general on the, on the other hand. Um, when I talk about kinetics, I talk about kinetics which are fundamental in the sense that they are based on insight in a reaction mechanism and even more so that uh, the rate equations we are talking about can be calculated based on appendicial, so-called appendicial calculations, that is applying quantum chemistry. Uh, but at the same time, for a chemical engineer, they should be applied. Uh, they are applied in uh, different uh, ways. First of all, in order to um, design and optimize uh, chemical reactors in order to scale up from lab scale to um, industrial scale. Uh, and secondly, and this is something which is um, more recent, in order to provide guidelines for, for, for design of materials. In my case, heterogeneous catalysts on one hand and uh, microstructure polymers on the other hand. So uh, chemical kinetics is a uh, core business of uh, chemical engineering and uh, being fed by chemistry. And uh, so tremendous progress has been made in the field of computational chemistry. And what impact has this had on the relationship between theory and experiment? Well, first of all, uh, computational chemistry has made huge, indeed, huge advances in the, in the, the lab, last decades. And uh, uh, so it has uh, reached a stage where it can be pr really predictive. Uh, this is not only the case for so-called homogeneous gas-based reactions, where it is most straightforward, between quotation marks, but even so for heterogeneous catalysis. And, um, and this computational uh, chemistry allows us nowadays to account for the uh, effect of topology of a heterogeneous catalyst, for example, and hence allows to, to design better zeolites for, for, the, for certain applications. Okay. And so to wrap up, if there is one message that you want to share with the audience about um, chemical engineering and kinetics, what would it be? That the future is bright. I mean, it's... Uh, uh, the, the tools we have uh, available today are, are, are hard to compare to those that were available a few decades ago. That's what I will, I will talk about. I mean, we can, we can now come with kinetics which are much more uh, founded, uh, much more uh, broad in scope, and, uh, and I'm sure that our community will, uh, will, uh, will go on using them uh, to the benefit of, of all of us. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me today. And thanks for your perspective. You're and uh, this has been another video for AICHB's online community connected.